Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now today we'll have for you a season 6 episode 1 of City signings. Now Jamie Walker has signed an initial 2 year contract on a permanent basis with Bradford City upon the expiry of his contract with Hearts with a further year as well in the club's favour. Now if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure you drop a like on it. If you could try any 80 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. Get your thoughts in down in the comment section down below. For me personally, I am absolutely buzzing. Now, I don't usually upload on Sunday. This has literally just been announced. And I'm trying to get this video out as quickly for you guys as possible. But I'm absolutely buzzing. The Flying Scotsman will be here for at least another two years. He's already done well since coming in on loan from Hearts in January. One of the few things Derek Adams did right as a Bradford City manager was bringing this man to the football club. He has been an absolute joy to watch ever since he signed. And he's here for at least another two years with the potential of it being a third year as well. So let's waste no further time make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it so Bradford City tweeted today at 13 minutes past seven in the evening I was literally just watching the MK Dons versus Wickham game Bradford City tweeted saying breaking news meanwhile enjoy our number 10 on an initial two-year deal obviously it is the end of year meal and the player of the year awards which have been going on and then they just randomly completely out of the blue just drop this on us that Jamie Walker will be here for the next couple of years so the article does then read Walker agrees permanent contract Bradford City AFC is delighted to announce that Jamie Walker has agreed terms on the initial two year deal the 28 year old will join the Bantams on a permanent basis upon the expiry of his contracts at Heart of Midlothian next month Walker has spent the past four months on loan at the Bantams from Hearts he has made 19 appearances in Claret and Amber netted four goals including three in his last five games the attacking midfielder says it feels great this was the only football decision I wanted to make and I I'm absolutely delighted to be here permanently. It's been a tough season for the club, but the ambition is something that was a big factor in me signing. The manager has Premier League experience and the club is heading in that direction. The last pre three performances have shown that, obviously, a 2-1 win against Scunthorpe, a 4-1 win against Sutton, and then yesterday we had the 2-0 win against Carlisle, which, if you haven't already... Go check out the vlog from that as well. He does go on then to say, hopefully we can use it as a springboard heading into next season and achieve what we want to achieve. Bantam's boss, Mark Hughes, said, Jamie's signing is one we are delighted to have got over the line and we are looking forward to having him with us for at least the next two seasons. He's a talented player and one who brings an awful lot to our side in terms of his character. Jamie will be able to take a lot of encouragement from the finish to the season he has had and we can do the same as a collective. He has a good eye for goal and wants to be a part of this club's success so to tie him down to a long-term contract is a huge boost for us. Walker's signing is subject to the relevant EFA and international clearances, so I presume he will officially join as Bradford City player on the 30th of July. I'm not too sure how the transfer window works in Scotland, where he has obviously been playing for quite a while, but if we have a look at his Bradford City statistics this season, he has played 19 times for Bradford City, scoring four goals, one assist, five yellows. He played 1,272 minutes. The only reason why he came came to us in the first place. Obviously, Hearts a very big club up in Scotland, but he'd only played 106 minutes of Scottish Premiership football this season, Hearts. He only played four times. He did actually score in one of them games as well. It was actually a 1-0 win away at Dundee, but since he's joined Bradford City, his debut against Salford, you simply saw his class. He was absolutely fantastic. Then... Wasn't great for a couple of games until Derek Adams got the chop. And then as time and time has gone on, especially under Mark Hughes, he's been absolutely fantastic. A joy to watch. And he's not just a luxury player. He puts in the hard yards. He does a lot of running. I know I did a video on Friday slightly comparing him and Callum Cook as to what they offer. But in terms of goal scoring threat, next season, I think Jamie Walker can get between 10 and 15 goals if he stays fit for the whole season. Because the form that he's in at the moment, even when he doesn't have his greatest game like against Carlisle yesterday, I don't think it was his greatest game. He's still pops up with a goal, pops up with that bit of quality when you need him to. He's absolutely fantastic, a pure joy to watch, and I'm so glad we'll have him at the football club for the next couple of years. If we have a look at some more of his in-depth stats, I mean, even in his last six matches for the club, he has not averaged less than a seven in any games, apart from that game against Colchester, which was a little bit of a blip. In that game against Carlisle, he got a 7.7. .7. In the game against Sutton, he got a 7.8. Scunthorpe, 7.5. Colchester was a 6.7, but I'm pretty sure he came on off the bench in that game. Against Tramier, he got a 7.6, and against Northampton, he got a 7.4. So he's played... 
19 matches in total for Bradford City, starting 15 of those. He averages 67 minutes per game. He has also had one conclusion in the team of the week. I thought it would have been a little bit more than that, to be honest with you. Scored four goals, averages a goal every 318 minutes, scores 0.2 goals per game. But just think about next season when he's playing week in, week out, all the time, constantly. Uh, he gets at least one shot on target as well per game. He also averages 1.1 key passes per game. He has a 77% passing accuracy as well. In terms of his defensive stats, he has 0.8 interceptions per game, 1.7 tackles per game. That is pretty much unheard of from an attacking midfielder. 0.5 possession wins per game as well. He gets dribbled past less than once per game as well. Only 0.5 times per game. He has 0.4 clearances per game. He's had no errors that lead to a shot or a goal. He's not giving away any penalties. In terms of his successful dribbles, 0.6 per game, 42% of them are successful as well. In terms of his total duels won, 4.9 per game, winning 45% of them. You know, overall his stats, he, he really doesn't have many negatives to be honest with you. His attitude seems absolutely spot on. Every time he steps on that pitch, you know he's going to give you 110%. He's fantastic. And I'm, honestly, I can't explain to you how buzzing I am that he has signed on a permanent contract. If we have a look at his career as a whole, obviously this probably was something that I touched on when he did originally sign on loan in January. But for the new viewers on the channel, he did start his career with Hearts. He played 125 games for the club, scoring 37 goals in the league. He then went on loan to Wraith, where he played 10 times and scored three goals. He then had a spell at Wigan, where he didn't really work out for him. He only made one start for the football club and failed to score. He went on loan to Peterborough where he made six starts, six appearances off the bench, scored once in that game. Then obviously joined Hearts again, played 20 times uh, as a starter and 20 times off the bench, scoring 11 goals and wasn't really getting used all too much this season, which is why obviously he came on loan to us in the first place. But I'm so glad Jamie Walker is officially a Bradford City player. His first goal for the club, you know, that was something that he did get criticised a little bit with. You know, you could see when he was on the ball dribbling, he was absolutely fantastic, but wasn't really scoring or assisting. He managed to break his duck finally in that Tuesday night game away at Stevenage, which saw us pick up all three points. Obviously, he had an injury as well in that game against Exeter, which saw him out of the tide for a little bit. Then we had a managerial change scored his first goal at Valley Parade in that game at home to Tramia lovely little header in that game scored in that game at home to Scunthorpe where we were about 20 seconds on the clock with the left foot managed to slot it past his keeper and then yesterday Pereira plays him through and he has the composure one on one to slot it into the back of the net there was a chance I can't remember what game it was in but he did have a chance maybe against Port Vale I'm not really too sure where he was in one on one with the keeper and he did put it straight at the keeper I think it was actually the Newport game where we drew nil nil and it was like at that time I was a bit like oh that wasn't great but apart from that I don't really think he's made a mistake he's been absolutely fantastic anyway if you have enjoyed watching today's video as I said at the start of it if you could drop a like on it let's try and go for 80 likes for the first episode of season six of City signings make sure you are subscribed as well to the channel we are trying to hit 6,000 subscribers as soon as possible get your thoughts in on this signing down in the comments down below for me if I haven't already said it enough, I am absolutely buzzing. Jimmy Walker is a Bradford City player. They, this man should be playing in League One at the absolute minimum. He is that good. Thank you for watching, though. Have a great rest of your day, and I shall see you all very soon for another video. Peace.